This game contains the following. Strong language, discussions of death, discussions of murder. Please note, this game is slash was updated in chapters. As such, not all content warnings will be available from this screen alone. Extra content warnings will be listed at the beginning of each chapter they appear in if slash when necessary. Discretion is advised. Alright, keep that in mind, chat. Welcome! Hello. Today will be your first day at Aether West Academy. What about Lumine East? But we can't continue without knowing more about you first. So... How are you gonna present yourself? Please note, this option will not affect your ability to complete the game. However, this option may affect how other characters describe you and the language they refer to you with. The decision cannot be changed later, so choose wisely. With that out of the way, how are you going to present yourself? You can select your choice using your arrow keys or mouse after clicking off the text box. Okay. <laughs> Hi, FFQ! How's it going? I was going to go with Androgynous, but like, I want to be referred to with like, he, him. It would have been nice. Like, I remember uh, Hustle Cat let you choose between feminine and masculine, and you could still choose, like, your, your pronouns. If, like, you were feminine, you could have that masculine. But anyway, anyway, I'm gonna go with masculine. You have chosen to present masculinely. Now that we have that settled, what is your name? Elio. Elio, yes, that's right. You're Elio. Today is your first day at your new school, Aether West Academy. A prestigious school that many can only imagine they could be selected for. The acceptance process is strange. No one is sure why Aether West accepts the students that it does. I will present as amorphous. I squeeze through spaces as small as one inch thick. <laughs> oh, sorry, I don't have the bunk thing uh, today. Oh, wait, no, I do. I do. But it's like a little weird. I am back. Welcome back. Let me, let me adjust this a little bit. <coughs> there you go. Yeah, no bunks. Well, I guess you can bunk, but it looks a little weird. Because it's not like there's no model to detect. Grades, excellence in athletics, a good sum of money, none of that seems to matter. Even child prodigies have been turned away from Aether West with no given reason as to why. And yet, miraculously, you were accepted to attend. In the middle of the school year, no less. I, I don't know, I guess you guys just have to deal with that fact, ID. This kind of opportunity only comes once in a lifetime. And there was no way you were gonna pass up such a once in a million chance. After spending what felt like forever preparing, you hopped on the train extra early this morning. Your luggage was in hand, quite full, not as full as your spirits. And now, here you are, standing on the grass of a new beginning. A new school, a new breath of fresh air, and so many new opportunities for you to capture people's hearts. Is this Persona 5? Because truly, that's what you're really here for. I'm not here for Persona 5, I'm here for Double Survivor 3! A good education is nice, and the campus is certainly lovely. But nothing could ever beat the feeling of knowing you are loved by those around you. Maybe romantically, maybe platonically. The difference between those feelings really doesn't matter. It could be either or. And that would mean the same to you regardless. Who knows? Maybe even a mix of both? Truly capture someone's heart. You just need to mean something to them. Into it. Be someone that they care about. Be someone they might consider a friend. That's it. More than anything, we hope that this school will be an opportunity to meet people who will love you. In whatever form that love takes. And you are certain you'll be loved here. Make sure of it, no matter what. But before any of that, <coughs> you need to actually sign in to school first. You remember 
speaking on the phone with the headmistress last weekend. She said that when she arrived, she would meet you in her office. She gave you directions on how to get there, as she wasn't sure how busy she would be, but... Seeing the campus in person was entirely different than just hearing about it over the phone. Speaking of phones... Yours is going off. Oh, it's Dad! Hi! Thought you were Rui for a second. Hello, Angel. Don't call me Angel. How are you? How's the school? Do you like it there? You got there safe and all your stuff is with you? If you forgot anything, don't be afraid to let me know. I'll deliver it right over. I really don't mind. What a nice dad. This is definitely not my dad. You explained to dad that you just got here. He's gotta give you a bit of breathing room first. You haven't even got into your dorm yet. Oh, is he a helicopter parent? I'm sorry, I just worry about you. Elio, there you are. Huh? Elio, over here. They're talking to you? Oh, oh God. <laughs> dad lunges for his phone? Is my dad okay? Th that's what you want to go by. I, I don't have a problem with it, I'm just... Oh, what's wrong with the name I gave you? Oh god. You have to talk to me about these things, my angel. If you didn't like it, you hang up on dad. Yeah, no. <clears throat> don't, don't like my dad. You'll apologize for it later. You're busy right now, and don't have the time to focus on him. You have to talk to... Oh, who's that? Ah, Elio, there you are. I thought I might find you here, given our previous phone calls. What, he even named you? I guess I'm going by a different name than what he gave me. I did my best to clear my schedule so that I could meet with you as soon as you arrived. I'm so happy to see you made it here safely. And look at you. Just all dapper for your first day of school. Come with me. We'll get your paperwork all filled out. And then you can get a feel for things around campus. Alright. This is the chapter select screen. Whenever you press start from the title screen, you'll be brought here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, chapters must be completed successfully. Okay. 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 Ch ch chapters of great backgrounds mean there's no heart that must be captured to progress. You just need to finish the route. Okay. 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 So, what's, what's the game this time? It's a... Uh, it's a dating sim game. Okay, so we got, we got intro, Natina, Theodore, Mitzi, Ollie. Oh, well, Ollie looks kind of cute. Crovin, kind of like Crovin too. Vasilis, Vasilis looks neat. Twyla, Intermission, Gunter. Oh my God. Mary. Oh wait, Reginald. Kara Zaxter, The Night Before the Dance. Oh my god, there's so many chapters. Wait, that's a spin-off of a game. I forget the name, wait. Oh shit. Is it, yeah, Cemetery Mary, right? Hold on. Was this made before Cemetery Mary? I don't want to be spoiled, because I do want to play Cemetery Mary. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank God. I don't want to get... I didn't want to get spoiled. 
Because <laughs> I want to play Cemetery Maiden. Hi. Oh my god. Hi, Arcade Kitten. Yeah, this is the dub. Hi. I love the. It's not me, it's my basement. Uh, this is the second game by you that I played. <laughs> Mary seems cute but devilish. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, thank you. Yeah, I really loved it. Alright, let's see. Yeah, let's go. Let's go in order. Let's go in order. Let's go with the intro. You follow the headmistress across campus. A few students turn to look at you as you do so. They must have immediately recognized you as being new. Maybe you would have said hello if you didn't have to sign in first. You continue to follow the headmistress down a few corridors and some turn corners until you finally reach her office. The office seems almost claustrophobic. For what appears to be such an open and large institution. Bookshelves sit on both walls, with not a single bit of shelf space left empty. Her desk sits in front of the window, facing away from it. The music is a bit louder than your- oh, sorry. I'll turn that down. Okay, uh, how's it sound now? Does it sound alright now? What is the point of putting it across from a window if you aren't even gonna be looking out of it? The headmistress takes her seat across from you at her desk. Much better, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> you follow suit and sit in one of the two chairs that rest on the other side. She rummages through her belongings and passes you a sack of documents. Sign these, please. I really like her design. I like the ears and stuff. And fill them out with the proper information. You do as instructed. It's so nice to finally meet you in person, Elio. Thank you, no problem. You have a really nice art style. It's really cute. As you know, I am headmistress. Uh, oh, forgive me if I say this wrong. Acerel? Uh, that is my first name, though. My last name is unimportant. Oh? Regardless, you may call me Headmistress. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you to Aether West Academy. Now, before we send you out into the world, I'd like to go over a few school rules with you, if that's alright. Okay, uh, can I murder anyone here? You nod your head in agreement. Splendid! Well, for starters, School uniforms and school print apparel are to be worn <laughs> at all times while class is in session. Okay. Well, you see. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> More casual wear is permitted outside of class hours, but you'll still have a dress code to follow. There's a curfew of 10 o'clock at night. Students must be in their dorm rooms at this time. Oh, what's gonna happen if I go outside? We also ask that the dorm room you are in at curfew is your dorm room. Oh? Please do not attempt to stay over someone else's dorm room at night, so we can't have sleepovers? I know that sleepovers with friends can be fun, but there's classes. Yeah, it's school. Dorm rooms are for the two people assigned to them and no one else. And of course, we expect you to behave properly. Be respectful to your peers, clean up after yourself, don't vandalize or destroy anything belonging to the school. I mean, she's saying things that sound reasonable, but I don't know. I don't think I have to worry about you in that regard. Yeah, I'm, I'm the model student. I've never done anything bad in my life, ever. Please pay no attention to this meme that Twy made earlier. I never did any of those things. <laughs> high school? We're back in high school, baby. Oh boy. High school never ends. I hope I don't get bullied in this one. <laughs> I mean, it depends. If the person's cute, I don't mind getting bullied. <laughs> any violation of the school rules will be punished accordingly. Are you gonna kill me? But hey. <laughs> We aren't all rules and regulations here. Have some fun in here for you two. 
As I'm sure you noticed, our campus is quite large. And that's because, well, we've just got so much here. We got a library, gymnasium, a pool, a cafeteria. Okay, I, I got some ideas for how to murder some people. A baseball field, a football field, a school store. You name it, we got it. Okay, do you have a boiler room? Oh, and speaking of that cafeteria... Oh, your food is free paper. <gasps> let's go! Let's go! Okay, let's go. Okay. Hell yeah. Free food. This already is the best school ever. You may eat to your heart's content. Oh my god, let's go! I don't have to go hungry! You tell the headmistress, that sounds wonderful. You're feeling pretty hungry after your long trip over here. A boiler room? Or a griller? <laughs> oh, I can only imagine. I'd be positively famished if I were you. So I won't hold you too much longer. Just a few more things to get through. On the weekends, we have some buses that come in that can take you downtown and into the city. We arrive at 9.30 in the morning and return at 9.30 at night. Okay, so I gotta, I gotta speed run to my room or else I die at 10, huh? So, if you want to stop by the city, please remember to be mindful of the clock. You wouldn't want to be marked absent for class because you missed the bus, would you? You reassured the headmistress that you'll keep your eye on the time. Oh, and another thing before I forget. We have a few school events, like festivals and dances throughout the year to keep things fun. Oh, yo, let's go. And you are just in time for our next day. Oh, no. I, I mean, are they okay with the Hari Hari Yukai? Because that's the only dance I know. That in Love Live dances gonna look like an absolute fool. I believe we're calling it the- Oh, the Starry Swear Way! Okay, you know what? I, I think I can work with this. It's called the Starry Swear Way. It's the Swear Way for me. I'm the Starry Bunny Boy, so, you know? I can make this work. I'm so underprepared. <laughs> I, I just gotta- I just gotta look good, be confident. Like, people- I'll, I'll like, dance so badly. And the people will be like, oh wow, this must be just some some new fangled craze dance because I, I'm just so confident in myself that they'll just believe that I'm dancing good. You don't deserve a soiree. You don't like Derek Suarez. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why? It's only a few weeks away now. I'm sure it will be a lovely night. You tell the headmistress that sounds lovely indeed. And while doing so, you hand back the paper she asked you to sign. Ha, <laughs> thank you. Pretty soon, Natina should be here. She's a star student. I've asked her to show you to your room and give you a tour around campus to help get you familiar with things, okay. Ah, but one last thing. Before she gets here... The headmistress's demeanor seems to shift, oh? Suddenly, her gaze is averted. You didn't... Uh... How do I say this? You've heard good things about the school before you came here, right? Is there something bad about this school that I should be aware of, headmistress? You tell her that yes, you did. Everything you've heard about the school has been something wonderful. It's not like Duncan Rompa. Oh, good! I mean, I figured as much. You wouldn't be here otherwise, right? Oh, I suppose that's all settled then. And like we discussed, you aren't gonna cause us any trouble, right? Uh, well, uh, define trouble. Because I might cause like a food fight and I might bite someone's mom or something. You tell her that you will be of the best behavior she's ever seen. Oh, good, because, well, if we had a problem, I'd be sure to, it's taken care of immediately. Oh. Well. All right. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, ma'am. But I trust you. <laughs> Would someone go to a school they heard bad things about? Hmm. <laughs> True. 
I say that, but I went to a bad middle school. <laughs> it was specifically a middle school for troubled youths. So you know it's a bad school. <laughs> you seem like a good kid. Well, any minute now, it should be... Knock, knock, knock. We might bite people according to that image from before. <laughs> I hope so. I, I am mightily hungry. Oh, there she is. Oh, hi. Oh, she's cute. Hello. I hope I'm not too late. I love the little wing, like a uh, little wing headband. I actually, I had a, I had an OC that had like little wing headbands, so I'm very fond of those. <laughs> Not at all, you're right on time. You went to school for elfers. <laughs> no. Awesome. So you must be Elio, right? Come with me. I'll show you all around Aether West. You're not troubled, you are unique. That's true. I just had really bad grades because all I did was stay in my room and play Persona 3. <laughs> Well, no, that was elementary school, so I played- I stayed in my room and played Tales of Symphonia. Well then, off you go! I do so hope you enjoy your time spent at Aether West Academy. Alright, we completed our route! Let's go! Okay, time to date Natina. Wait. Oh! You made me fall for this Thundercross split attack! Ah! God damn it! God damn it! That one was a good one. That one was a good one, Twy. You exit the headmistress's office following Natina. She leads you down the hallway as more students turn their head to catch a glimpse of the new kid. So, my name's Natina. You can call me that, or Nettie, or Tina, or... Oh, she's lovely. Oh, maybe you could even come up with a cute nickname for me. Yeah, what about Nettie? And I could come up with one for you too, Elio. That'd be like, so cute, don't you think? Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> Anyways... Oh, she's wonderful. I, I'm not getting any red flags at all. Thank you for the hydrate, Overtaker. <laughs> it's always great to see a new face around here. Especially because it, like, rarely ever happens. I don't get many transfers into school, why not? Oh man, there's so much to show you. <laughs> what do you want to see first? Oh, good question. Um, hmm. I don't know. Where would I want to go? I would like the library. Want to see if they have a manga section. Is she going to call me a nerd? I'm going to cry if she calls me a nerd. Yeah, I'll show you the library. It's like super pretty. Here we are! Yeah, you're not gonna, like, shove me against the bookshelf and hit me over the head with a desk, right? You called me a nerd. Well, I mean... I mean, you are. But if she calls me a nerd, then... That's just... That's just... That's just wrong. A few shushes came from all directions. Oops. <laughs> I always forget I'm supposed to be quiet in here. Anyway, here's the library. There's books, books, and books galore. Any book you could ever need, you're guaranteed to find here. But if I'm honest, I'm almost never in here. Oh no, she doesn't like... She doesn't like me. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. I don't mean that in a bad way or anything. But like, I don't know. Books aren't really my groove, you know. Oh. But it's a good place to study. And if you need somewhere quiet to chill out, it's probably the best option. Yeah, I would go to the library a lot in college. And I would just go and sleep in one of the chairs. <laughs> I, I would hardly read in the library. I just liked going there to sleep. Because <laughs> I would have like hours between classes. Because college, 
classes suck. So I would just sleep in the library for a few hours. The librarian is also pretty chill, you know? Really easy going and all. As long as you're a well-behaved kid who doesn't make a mess in the place, you'll be good in her book. You're not a mess maker, right? Uh, <laughs> looks at my room. No, not at all. Just kidding. So, where do you want to go next? Okay, uh, I, I fucked up on that one. Maybe the pool? <laughs> looks like someone heard we have a pool at school. I don't blame you. I was excited the first time I heard about it, too. Okay, good. She likes me. She likes me. Here's the pool. Ain't it a beauty? I mean, the pool isn't the only thing we got. Oh, you can see like little... Little waves. We have a baseball field, a football field, a big indoor gymnasium. I like the vibes in this room. It's very... It's very like a... Oh, why can't I remember the name? But I like the vibes. And that's because you don't even have to be part of the swim team to use it. They put up a schedule at the beginning of each week to tell you when it's going to be busy. But when it isn't, you can use it as much as you like. The only downside to the pool is that it's indoors, not outdoors. I like indoor pools, so... You can like... Heat up the water and stuff. And I think an outdoor pool is way more fun. Oh god. I just remembered a story. No, no, that's not a good story. I'm not gonna tell that story. But when I think of indoor pools, I think of it. But I guess this way, no leaves will get stuck in it. You can still use the pool even when it's raining. You're not. How bad is it? Okay, so... You said so much already. Yeah, so... Uh, there's like a gym kind of near where I live, and I was on like a... I was on like a trial period. <laughs> Ellie, I'm not forcing you to say it. I'll, I'll say it. Uh... <laughs> you rather not, you don't need to. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not like that bad. It's just like... Eh. But anyway, um... <laughs> I went into the like they had an indoor bath and an out or not indoor bath indoor pool and outdoor pool at the the gym and I thought I'd go t to the indoor pool people were fucking in there there was just a boy and a girl in the pool they were fucking yeah. Oh god, I hate people. And... And like, it's see-through! Like, the walls are see-through! Like, when you get close to the pool, you can see it. And then I'm just like... Yeah, okay. Guess I'm not <laughs> going in the pools here. I remember the people who did that while I was watching Susan. Ah, I'm so sorry, Joy. But yeah. Oh my god. Just, why would you do that?! And there's like kids and stuff that come to the gym too. And it's just like, what if a kid walked in and saw that? Ugh, I hate people. People are fucking gross. They really are. But yeah, whenever I hear indoor pool now, I just get flashbacks to walking to the indoor pool and seeing people fucking in there. Ugh. It's pretty exciting to have such an accessible pool at school, but... I doubt you want to go for a dip right now, right? Here, where should we go next? Let's see... The courtyard? Yeah, I love the courtyard. You probably came in from there, right? I can show you the best way to get back there. Here we are! This is the courtyard. Most students come in from here, since the opening faces the roadways. It's pretty big, don't you think? The biggest courtyard I've ever seen, at least. I really like that about it, because it's nice and spacious. Yeah, you can hide a lot of bodies in here. You can 
all those bushes? And there's always room to chill out, no matter how many students are out here. Just be sure you don't get hit in the head by any stray frisbees or wiffle ball students might be playing with out here. But seriously, it's like a really nice place to hang out. We'll probably see each other here a lot too, Elio. I look forward to it. So, where should we go now? Yeah, all that's left is the cafeteria. Sure, we can go to the cafeteria. It's actually not too far from where we are right now. <laughs> are you hungry? Yes, I am. I'm so hungry I could eat a student. You tell Natina she has no idea. <laughs> I'm sure. How long are you traveling anyway? Here, let's get you some food. Natina's heeled shoes clock against the floor as she leads you to the cafeteria. As you approach a pair of large double doors, you can only assume this is it. Oh, nice chairs. So, here's the cafeteria. They kind of look like... Kind of look like the little garden chairs. Nothing too special, but I do like the big windows. You take a gander around the cafeteria. There's a few students about, but unlike in the halls, they aren't really paying much attention to you. Some are sitting and talking, some are sitting and eating, some are just sitting. Weird. Aside from those few students, the cafeteria is mainly empty. That seems about right. At the current time, it's a little late for lunch, but still too early for dinner. Oh, another great thing about the cafeteria is the menu alternates every day. So you never have to worry about getting bored of the same stuff every day, you know? My friends and I tend to sit over by that table over there. I can't sit at that table. I have hemorrhoids. You're welcome to join us anytime you want. I mean, unless you like to eat outside like some people. I mean, I do like eating outside. What's wrong with eating outside? It's nice and warm. You're not sure what Natina means by that. <laughs> this can be the hemorrhoid table. <laughs> Instead of asking, you opt to thank Natina for her kind offer to sit with her at lunch. As you open your mouth to speak, well, you gotta go to sleep. Hope you have a good stream. Also, compliments to the creator. The art looks awesome. Heck yeah! Yeah, have a good night, Destiny! Sweet dreams! Your stomach growls quite loudly. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> thank you for gifting a sub to Arcade Kitten, Destiny Hunter! <laughs> oh my god! Well, I hope you enjoyed the emotes, Arcade Kitten! <laughs> Thank you so much! <laughs> you really are hungry, huh? <laughs> Let's get you a snack while we're here then. After that, where do you want to go next? Good night! Good night! See you later! Oh, wait a minute! What am I doing? I'm taking you all these places. I should be showing you to your dorm room. Uh, duh. <laughs> oh, Natina, you're such a scatterbrain sometimes. I'm sure you must be so tired. And you want to drop off all your stuff somewhere too, don't you? <laughs> you should have told me to take you to your dorm. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, let me save. Thank you. <laughs> I, I'm always like that person that saves at like the... The choices. I always forget to save. Oh, it can be easy to lose roots. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, better late than never, right? We'll head on over there now. Follow me. Natina once again starts leading you down the hallway. However, she doesn't make it a few steps before. Hold it. Natina suddenly appears disgusted at what's in front of her. You peer around to catch sight of what could have caused such a sudden and intense reaction. <gasps> it's a- it's a frog! Uh, it's just a cute little frog! There's a frog in the middle of the hallway, staring up at you with wide eyes. Yeah, it's just a new frog! Look at him! So cute! Uh, it's one of Scary Mary's stupid frogs again! What? 
Frog wears a sorry expression on his face as if to say that he's sorry for getting in your way. And maybe also for scarring Tina. Oh, no! No! No, don't worry about it, Frog. Don't worry. You're, you're adorable. I love you. Your pals, you kneel over to the frog and open your hands in a cupped formation. The frog gently hops in your hands. Huh, you're really gonna touch that thing, Elio? Well, what if it gives you warts or something? Yeah, I'm not afraid of warts. <laughs> yeah, apparently so. Just like, make sure you wash your hands or something. Okay, let me save here. <sighs> what are you even gonna do with that? You tell Matina that you'll release the frog outside on your way to the dorms. Eh, I doubt that's gonna work. If it was in the school, then it definitely got to be one of Mary's frogs. And those things never leave. Suddenly, a sinister look begins to creep itself across Natina's face. She asks you... Oh, no. No, N Natina? No. You could, you could mutilate any student you want. But I draw the line at frogs. What if we killed it? No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. Are you crazy? Yeah, no. We ain't, we ain't killing... We ain't killing the frog. I'm sorry. Don't want to kill the frog. I may be a monster, but I'm not a horrible person. Uh, hey now. It was just a joke. Do you really think I wanted to kill it? Don't make jokes like that. I just wanted to see your reaction, Elliot. Well, I'm mad now, Natina. You look at Natina skeptically, but decide it's best to ignore the comment. Anyways... We were showing you to your dorm room, right? Oh, I am not getting a good ending. <laughs> She's gonna murder me. Let's get back to that. I mean, like we were saying, I'm sure you're exhausted. I want to chill out somewhere, right? <laughs> so let's go. She's gonna be like, God, you're so boring, and like drowns me in the fountain. <laughs> you cross through the courtyard on your way to the dorm rooms. You attempt to leave the frog by the fountain, but he immediately hops back onto your shoulder. Oh, you're like Pikachu. See, I told you. I think it's probably too attached to the school to want to leave. Yes, Tina, the fountain is not also part of the school. Uh, you know what I mean. Come on, let's just get to your dorm room already. Why do you want to go to my dorm room so bad? At last, you're brought to the dorm you'll be staying in. It's clean, tidy, nice. Bed has been made, and there's nothing on the desk. The only decorations are some generic posters dotting the wall. Well, I can't wait to start hanging up all my dot hack posters. You'll be sure to add your own in time. Hell yeah. You know, I have to admit, I'm actually pretty jealous of you. You asked Tina why that is, yeah. Did you... Are you soon today? Did you actually want to pet the frog? I'll forgive you. Has you got this whole room to yourself? Oh, really? Oh? But you were told it was two people per dorm? Oh, yeah. But, like, no one wants to stay in the room that belonged to the dead kid. Oh! <laughs> yeah, she's gonna kill me. Oh, oh, wait, no. Okay, someone else died. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to say that out loud, was I? Whoops! Oh, okay. So, are you gonna kill me? <laughs> Or is someone dead? <laughs> Very important. <laughs> you asked Natina about what she just said. Who's the dead kid? Look, it's really not that big of a deal. <laughs> it was like, it was an accident. What happened to them? Mm hmm. Is that why I was accepted so suddenly? Yeah, who are they? No one really. Seriously, like, I don't even think I knew their name. <laughs> they meant that little to me. Oh, wow. It's 
kind of heartless. I mean, not like in not in a bad way or anything. Okay, but like it's not like it was a big deal or anything that they that they died. Hmm. I'm sorry. What am I trying to say again? I don't know. What are you trying to say, Natuno? Just really don't don't worry about it. What happened isn't going to happen again, so it's fine. How do you know that? Can we please not talk about this anymore? Like I said, I wasn't really supposed to say anything. And I can get in big trouble if anyone finds out I told you. Oh? Is this like a conspiracy? So like, this is just between you and me, alright? You hesitatingly agree. Thanks. I totally owe you one. Anyway, I've been here long enough, I'm sure. You want to unpack and everything, so I'll leave you be. I hope you don't get haunted by the ghost of the dead kid or anything. <laughs> and seriously, don't worry about that thing I said before. Everything really is okay. See you around. Yeah, I, I love... I love sleeping in a room that probably still has... The smell of a dead carcass wafting in it. I'm back. I had a terrible cake and I think expired yogurt. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Linux. Welcome back. Okay, can I be a Riz Master? As Natina turns to leave, you grab her by the hand. You tell her that you don't want her to leave just yet. <laughs> Although you would appreciate some time to rest after all the events of the day, you would appreciate having someone to spend time with a lot more. Why are you still in PNG mode? Oh. That's very true. I don't- I don't have to be PNG mode anymore. I'm not- I'm not playing Pocket Mirror anymore. Okay, hold on. <laughs> yeah, let me get my VTube VTube avatar up. Wait, is it not- Okay, there we go. There it goes. And if she would do you the honor, maybe you can go catch an early dinner together before you retire to your room? <laughs> oh, I am laying the Riz. Okay, let's use... Oh, wait, no. Not this one. No, not that model. This one. Let's use this one. This is my Riz Master suit. Okay. Let me just get that. Okay. And I'll get rid of the image. Where's Master? Every day, hell <laughs> You are free. Be free, bun boy. Yes, I am free. <laughs> From the shackles that bind me to being a PNG. <laughs> Aw, Elio. Well, sure, I guess we can. I'm pretty hungry myself. Just, uh... You're gonna put that frog down first, right? Oh, right. You gently place the frog onto your desk and tell him you'll be right back. You're kind of silly, you know? That? Yeah, I'm just a silly guy. Alright then, let's go. Shortly thereafter, you're right back at the cafeteria with Natina. Hey, Elio, look at this. What is this? My god, it's Aerith with a steel chair to separate <laughs> King, the roof is about to come off this place. Let's go. That better be in the remake. Totally new leak of the next Final Fantasy game. It better. That better happen. It's a bit more crowded than it was before. Now that it's closer to what most people would consider dinner time. You go to sit with Natina at one of the window tables like she claims she always did. As you take your seat, you catch a glimpse of Natina's face. She's staring over at another table, though you can't quite pin which table it is. Her expression reads something sour O. She seems to not like this Miri character, so I'm guessing it's Miri. Let's 
see. Are you okay? Is everything alright? I'll go with that one. What? You told Tina that she was looking rather annoyed. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about it. Just some stupid bullshit from before you got here. You wouldn't get it. I might. Before you can inquire any further. Wait, oh, fuck, is he really coming over here? Who? Whomst? You look over to see who Natina might be talking about. A masculine looking figure with blue hair and rounded horns is making his way towards your table. <gasps> My boy? Oh! He looks just as annoyed as Natina did a few seconds earlier. As he gets closer towards your table, Natina's expression suddenly shifts. As if she's controlling her emotions with a switch. Oh. <laughs> Man, she really is a mean girl, isn't she? Any trace of discomfort or annoyance had completely vanished. Oh yo! At last the boy reached your table. Cool horns. Natina greeted him before either of you had a chance to speak. Oh my gosh! Hi Theo! <laughs> How are you doing? I was just showing Ellie around the school. <laughs> Did you want to say hi? Cut the crop. You know why I'm here. Oh, well now! <laughs> no need to get so aggressive. Is something wrong? Tina's question only seems to anger the boy more. Oh? This is why you volunteered to show the new kid around, isn't it? So you could try to avoid this, right? Oh? <laughs> what? I don't have a clue what you're talking about. What did you do, Natina? Stop playing stupid. You tried to tell them Croven did it, right? Oh, what? Turns out the Atlas Instagram showed the new games before they were... Yeah, yeah. I heard about it. They leaked it on Instagram. <laughs> Stop trying to get him in trouble. Oh god. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Mm. Please go away. Excuse me? I don't recall asking you anything. Well, I'm asking you something. <laughs> go away. Jeez, Thea, will you calm down? What kind of warm welcome is that for a new student? I'm trying to lay on the wrist. Here, Theo. Oh, fuck off with that shit. I mean, I already kind of messed up with her, and I think she's probably gonna kill me, but I mean... Shoot my shots when I still can, right? Like, you actually care about anything like that. Well, they asked you to go away. So, are you gonna leave? Are you gonna make this harder than it has to be? I'm not leaving until we settle this. Well, you can just sit on that floor right over there, and we'll just pretend you aren't there. Uh... Hmm... Yeah, settle what? I'm curious. <laughs> I'm curious. Tina's trying to get another student in trouble for something you didn't do. I am not! You're just making stuff up to make me look bad. Funny you say that, considering that's the exact thing you're doing. Uh, yeah, do you have any proof of that? <laughs> oh, I swear to... Hey, you. Boy's talking directly to you now. Me? The girls are fighting! <laughs> I say as one of them is a boy. Let's go! <laughs> I love the drama, the tea! <laughs> what did Natina tell you, huh? Yeah, yeah. Show me the receipts. Uh, I didn't tell him nothing, cause nothing is happening! Stop making issues out of nothing! You're one to talk. I'm trying to frame Proven for some kid's death because of one stupid prank. Ugh! You really think I would do that? I know you would do that because you're doing it right now. <laughs> Yo, this, this popcorn is tasting real good! Elio, you don't really think I would do something like that, do you? Um, I kind of, I, I kind of do, but, <laughs> I mean, I do love a woman that could murder me. 
So, of course I don't. Especially seeing you so worked up over it. Tina doesn't seem to get what you're getting at at first. You gesture vaguely to her, trying to convey the message. Luckily, she catches on before Theo does. <laughs> Theo? Wait, what? <laughs> Natina breaks out into a sob. Even though Theo and Natina were having a scuffle earlier, nobody had turned their heads to look this way. This girl is a, a great A actress. She should really try out for some plays. Until now, practically everyone in the cafeteria had turned to face her table. Theo, please leave me alone. <laughs> just wanted to have a nice time with Elio. <laughs> it's their first day and I wanted to make a nice impression. And you... You... Why are you yelling at me? Did you want to make me cry? <laughs> Can't you just leave me alone for one day? <laughs> You're making me look bad and... And... <laughs> Please leave me alone. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Girl, you're crying a bit too hard. Fucking jeez. Alright, alright. I'm going. I'm sorry, Theo. We love manipulation. <laughs> Gaslight gatekeep Girl Boss, am I right? This isn't over though. I just wanted to have a nice time. <laughs> have a nice time with Elio. Me when there decides to be a gigantic thunderstorm when we hang out. <laughs> hey, Barn. How's it going? <laughs> You're not gonna get away with this. Yeah, so, uh, did you murder a kid, Natina? I mean, no, no judging here. No judging, of course. I mean, it's kinda, kinda, kinda attractive. Theo quickly shuffles away from you guys. Clearly didn't enjoy everyone's eyes on him. Holy shit, she's manipulative? She's meeting all of my standards. Yeah, she does feel like a lady you'd like, Barn. <laughs> Natina sniffles for a few seconds longer and then... Whoa! Thank goodness, that's over. So, what did you want to eat? You and Natina share dinner together. She's most of the talking, with lots of it being about herself. I, I do love to listen. I'm a good listener. She lear you learned that she's part of the cheerleading team, of course. I would expect nothing less. But being in the pool is still her favorite thing. The swim uniforms aren't as cute as the cheerleading ones, though. And the more she talked about it, it starts to seem like she only joined the cheerleading team to get her hands on a new cute outfit she could flaunt about. As she deserves, queen. You also learned that, according to her, she's well-liked. She's a popular girl. It's just a few of the freaks around the school that have a problem with her. Hmm. She's a nice person. That's what she says, at least. But hey, it's alright, yeah. You're not a freak. I mean, I kind of am, but... So she likes you. And that's just what you want. Yeah, let's go! By the time Natina walks you back to your dorm, the sun is already setting. You've still got much to unpack, but that can wait until tomorrow. Say, Elio, now that we're away from everyone else, oh, are you gonna plunge a blade into my torso? You should have! Oh, that was, like, super clever of you. Oh, okay. No, no, no blades through the torsos yet. Like, really clever. Like, almost downright sinister. Yeah, I, I can be a, I can be a little bad when I want to. I think you're not as angelic as that face you put on. Mm. You tell Natina that you could say the same to her. Oh my god, are we gonna be like... Are we gonna be girl boss and boy boss? But alas, her face is much more angelic than yours. Huh, Elio, stop that! <laughs> Flattery will get you everywhere, right? Yeah, well, everywhere. Yes, let's go. That's what I was hoping. I should probably get going, though. 
I gotta get ready for tomorrow too, you know? And, uh, thanks again for backing me up back there. I think you and I are gonna get along really well. More so than I anticipated. So... Let's hang out again soon, okay? Wanna see a video of Southern Tifa roasting Zephyroth? Maybe later. <laughs> okay, I captured Natina's heart. Let's go. Where's Master 500? Okay, now what happens if I fail? <laughs> okay, let's see. Whoa, success! Let's go. What happened? I don't want to kill it, though. <laughs> Okay, I think this pranking it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. Yeah, is that why I was accepted so suddenly? I mean, if you want to get into the technicalities of it, but like, that makes it a good thing for you, right? Because you wouldn't have been able to make it in otherwise. What's this game about? It's like a, it's like a dating sim game, but I think all the people might murder me. Maybe. I don't know. Hey, you captured her heart? That reminds me of a game that's coming out in a few months. Persona 5 Tactica. <laughs> Double Survivor 3 is looking great. So, like, maybe it's a good thing that they... Actually, forget that. I am not going to finish that thought. Can we please not talk about this anymore? Like I said, I wasn't really supposed to say anything. Okay, is this? Yeah, okay. Okay, I'll, I'll let you go. If I love you, then let you go. Natina exits your dorm room and leaves you to get settled. Sounds like real dating, but like using shady apps, it is my experience. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Although you seem to hold a mostly friendly report with her, you can tell you aren't close enough yet to capture her heart. Maybe you'll have to try again. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see. Let's go over here. Oh, uh, what are you looking at? Sorry? You tell Natina that she was looking rather annoyed. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about it. Just some stupid bullshit from before you got here. You wouldn't get it. Okay, yeah. So he's getting closer. Yeah, losing usually just results in being told to try again in a variety of ways. Oh, okay. Let's see. Okay, so... It okay to go to the other characters, or are there other endings? Nothing in particular. <laughs> uh, excuse me. This doesn't have anything to do with you, so don't tell me that what I should be doing right now. Jeez. Aren't you supposed to be, like, my friend? Oh, oh I'm sorry. Um, in fairness, I just met you. <laughs> Yeah, and I just met you too, and this is crazy! So, here's my number, call me maybe? But I still consider you my friend! You're just gonna throw me under the bus? Some friend you are! Uh, don't expect me to have your back when you need it. I can't believe this. When you're done pissing off everyone you meet, I still have a bone to pick with you, Natina. Uh, sorry, Elio, but this isn't gonna work. You should just go. At this point, you wouldn't have been able to say anything to either of them that would have diffused the situation. Listening to Natina, you left to go get dinner by yourself. Unfortunately, you weren't able to get closer to Natina once Theo barged and made everything awkward. Looks like you're gonna have to try again. Alright. We'll see. Now let's... Before, damn, in this ending, you truly fumbled the bag. <laughs> yeah, what's going on here? Don't worry about it. Pierre is just being dramatic. Dr 
dramatic. Trying to get him expelled. Oh, thank you for the hydrate, Twy. Unless I'm fucking missing something. Twy ending. <laughs> uh, I didn't say that. Y'all know who did that. So why would I say Krobin did it? Oh, thank you for take a moment. <coughs> I should probably take my medication. Got my cough syrup real fast. <laughs> Bun medication confirmed? Well, cough syrup. But yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good. It's just you can obviously tell, like I, I cough and stuff, so it's still not quite out of my system yet. God, I hate cough syrup. Plus, I just had. I just had pills. Ugh. I hate cough syrup, but I like Pepto Bismol. Pepto Bismol tastes good. If that's what Donk and Rumpa characters' blood tastes like, then I'm gonna drink their blood. Cause you're a crazy witch. Oh, who? What didn't Tina do? Hold on. Got some, got some new dialogue here, let me... Got some spicy drama. Okay, what did Natina do? This lunatic is trying to frame Kroven for murder. Hello! Hey now! Excuse me! That totally isn't true. Besides, even if I was, I'd be framing him as an accomplice. I'd never get away with framing him for like, the real deal. Bun syrup. Bunny with a pancake on top. I love that meme. I wanna I wanna commission someone someday. Just just me with a pancake on my head. Make me the happiest bunny ever. That's the art I want. You ask what she means by that. Oh right. Huh. Remember when I said like what happened to the last student before you was an accident? <laughs> like, not everyone believes that. <laughs> but I totally believe it was an accident, honestly. What about the, the accomplice thing, though? How, how is there an accomplice if it was an accident? Hmm? There's nothing to worry about. <laughs> You're right. I wouldn't trust a single word out of this slimy bitch's mouth if I were you. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh my god. Um, someone please explain this whole thing to me. Ugh, sorry, Elliot. Yeah, okay, yeah. Bed end. Not to go that far. Look what you're doing to her. Tina doesn't seem to get what you're getting at at first. You gesture vaguely to her, trying to convey the message. Luckily, she catches on before Theo does. Okay, so now she's gonna do her crying act. Okay. Let me see, was there any other dialogue trees? Yeah, Natina, why don't you answer him? Okay, wait, I think I already did that. Yeah. You're right. Oh, oh, oh I, I think I just did in fairness, I just met you, so yeah. Let me make a save here. Aw, oh, you see that, Theo? Elia knows how to say sorry when they're in the wrong. Wow, cool. If only you knew how to do the same. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> of course you'd say that. I have nothing to be sorry for. Really? I'd say trying to stick a murder. Yeah, yeah. Another kid. Let's see. I have 
have nothing to say to him. Geez, Elio, are you gonna get on my ass too? You know, I was thinking you were cool. I guess I judged wrong. Don't flatter yourself, Mutina. I can't think of one time you were ever right. Damn! You always got some good one-liners. Okay, yeah. Let's see. Did. Let's see. Yeah, settle what? Did I do this? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Well, it's... Okay, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, who's Kroven? What did Kroven do? Kroven didn't do anything, and that's the damn problem. Well, Miss Perfect over here just can't take a stupid prank. Stupid prank? It wasn't any stupid prank. It was embarrassing. It was humiliating. There's a whoopee cushion on your damn chair, Princess Crow. <laughs> oh my god. Excuse me? <laughs> Who the hell are you calling princess? I... I... This is really about a condition! Oh my god. Tina, calm down. You don't have to cry about it. Oh wait, yeah. So then she's gonna cry. Theo is so swag, I love him. <laughs> I'm excited to do his part of the story. He seems cool. Is this really about a whoopee cushion? <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. She's gonna... <laughs> gonna leave. Oh, let's see. Is there any other dialogue that I missed? Yeah, you don't have to go that far. Okay, yeah. Okay, I think, I think I'm good. All right, yeah, let's go with Theodore. Ooh, I like the characters, like, like face. I don't know, they look nice. Theodore. Warning, this route contains smoking and tobacco use. Oh, thank you for the, thank you for the trigger warning. So yeah, uh, if anyone here is sensitive to uh, tobacco and smoking, please be careful. It's been about two days since you started school here. It's been nice. You've even been able to decorate your room a bit more too. Ooh! Oh, that's the that's Doctor oh, What was his name? Doctor Delight? It isn't much, but it makes things feel a little cozier and personal. You stretch out and begin to get ready for class. Yeah! Yeah! I remember, I remember, doctor. <laughs> oh, he's cool. <laughs> Shame what happened to him. <laughs> your little froggy friend looks up at you from your desk. Oh, froggy. It appears as if he wants to come with you. Yeah, please, come with me, froggy. You pat the little buddy on his head and tell him that you'll be back before he knows it. You might both get in trouble if someone sees you carrying a frog around after all. The frog seems to accept this as he hops onto your bed. Looks like someone is gonna take a nap, baby! Slipping your shoes on, you grab your backpack and some books and begin to head to class. God, I know what I'm doing tonight. I'm watching videos of frogs <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> I was watching some boo last night. <laughs> your first class of the day. When I get sick, I just want to watch animal videos. <laughs> Although you've only been here for a few days, your mind is already shuffling through the formulas you're supposed to remember. I don't know. If you've never, if you've never watched like, have you guys ever seen like the, the like live feed like websites or like, I think there's, there's probably some Twitch channels or, or YouTube channels for it. Like, there's, like, live feeds of, like, uh, aquariums. They'll have, like, little cameras so you can see, like, the fishies swimming around in the aquarium, like, 24-7. It's, like, the comfiest thing when you're sick. It's just, just play one of those. Always makes me feel a little bit better. 
You did all your homework last night, and although you aren't completely sure about it, you at least have the safety net of knowing your teacher will go easy on you. Being the new kid can have its perks too. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's just me, but like when I get sick, I, I, I like get like nostalgic about like being a kid, I guess. And so I guess like aquariums and stuff, like, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm weird. As you cut through the courtyard to get to your classroom, you think back to everything you packed with you today. In doing so, bump into someone in your distraction. And who else should it be but... Ah, you remember Theodore? Here's the boy who aggressively confronted Natina the other day. Yeah, now, now time for me to turn my riz on to him. You say hello to him. Hmm? Did I know you from somewhere? You're Natina's friend, right? I mean, maybe? Maybe. Don't you always have words? Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, I thought so. Don't talk to me. <laughs> well, so much for that interaction. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling that was just instant game over. Like, you talk with Natino? Fuck you. <laughs> when has Elio ever had Riz? Bruh, I was the one that asked you out. Shut up. <laughs> no? You explained to Theodore that you're only on friendly terms with Natina, but you're not friends with her. Regardless of how you feel towards Natina, it's clear to you that Theo probably won't like you if you associate too heavily with her. And with your goal being to get as many people as possible to like you, well, oh god, this MC really is me. You best play it safe. Hmm, I see. I guess I can understand that. What was your name again? My point stands. What do you mean? Uh... Fuck, I have a ton of riz. Elio, right? Well, uh... I need to get to class. See you later. Theo walks past you once again on his way to his own class. As you go to continue to your class, you take a step forward and stop. You stepped on something. Oh! It's a pack of cigarettes. Yo, she's smoking cigarettes. <laughs> Ton of wizards. Oh boy. Well, you know, you weren't carrying these. Yeah, I don't smoke. That stuff's bad for your lungs. Do these belong to Theo? Hmm. You cautiously pick up a pack of cigarettes and secure them in a side pocket in your book bag. Theo, don't you want good lungs? You never know when you need to sell them on the black market. You'll decide what to do with these after class. Class goes by just fine. Nobody notices the cigarettes and you write, Oh god, are they gonna do a bag inspection? Please don't. <laughs> a cigar? That's against the rules. And you know what we do to the rule breakers around here? <laughs> you have no reason to take them out of your bag either. So, all is alright. You continue to go about your day, and before you know it, it's lunchtime. You walk down the hall, and begin to make your way to the cafeteria. You haven't made many friends yet, so... You usually either take your lunch to go, or sit next to Natina if you find her in there. But today... Helio! She found you. Oh boy, there's gonna be drama. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey! You're heading to lunch? Let's sit together again! I'm sorry, Natina, but I told you I have hemorrhoids. I can't. I've got, like, the juiciest story to tell you, okay? Oh, juicy. Just, just like my ass that's bleeding because I got hemorrhoids. Go! Like, for reals, you won't even believe- Yeah, you won't believe how much hemorrhoids I have either. Elio? Are you okay? Huh? Some kind of space. Yeah, I'm just in constant pain because of my hemorrhoids. 
things, you, you better not uh, sit next to me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll show you the cigarettes. Reach into your book bag to show Natino what you found today. You can't go around for a bit until you grab it and take it out to show her. Try to keep them covered so as to not attract any unsolicited attention. Oh, what this is! You tell Natino that they aren't yours. I think Theo might have dropped them when you bumped into him earlier. You aren't sure what to do with them yet. Wait, really? MC will just get into more trouble carrying them around when they would. Oh, IDK. Just giving them to the office. <laughs> but then the office would be like, Oh, where'd you get this? Off the ground? Are you sure? Yes. I don't know. Some, some, of, those, some of those office teachers suck. But drama, I tell you. <laughs> Natina grabs the cigarettes from you before you can react. Be sorry. Theo's. Uh oh. What are you doing? Actually, I'll see you later, Elio. <laughs> Without her having said anything, y'all already had a pretty good idea of what Natino is gonna do with those. Uh oh. Oh, she's gonna get him expelled. <laughs> Theo stole my dream journal. <laughs> You had begun to regret taking them out in front of her, but there's no getting them back now. You did the only thing you could. Continue on to the cafeteria. And hope Natino wouldn't do anything too terrible. Natino's smoking cigarettes. It's been a few days since then. I nearly forgot in the whole dilemma until you run into... Theo! Hey, yeah, I found these on the ground over there. <laughs> you raise a hand to wave and say hi to him, but as you do so... Immediately brushes past you, roughly hitting your shoulder against his as he passes. <laughs> wow, what were you gonna do next, cob it on me? It was a less than ideal greeting. I, th I can roll with it. Hello! Hey, what's up? I mean, honestly, what idiot would just give away a full pack of cigarettes to the office? That's just a waste of money. <laughs> you ask Natina what's wrong with Theo. Seems grumpier than usual. Yeah, give us a little kiss, a little smoochy smooch. Yeah. You, you just gonna leave your homies hanging without giving the homie a kiss? Come on now. If we're really homies, you, you give me a little smooch. <laughs> How am I supposed to know? Okay, you got me. I do know. A dude's parents are coming to school to discuss this little smoking issue. <laughs> you fall silent for a moment. What? You don't actually feel bad for him, do you? He totally deserved it. Especially after how he tried to embarrass me the other day. <laughs> Isn't karma so wonderful? Come on, let's celebrate with lunch. Tina drags you by your wrist to the cafeteria. But well, all you can think about is Theo. Maybe you shouldn't have exposed him like that after all. <laughs> well. Well, just another little accident. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just thinking. You decide not to show Natina the cigarettes. Instead, you tell her you were just thinking of your homework for tonight. I'm just feeling a bit overwhelmed, that's all. Huh, Elio? That, that's okay. I'm sure your teachers understand. Plus, if it ever really gets to be too much, you could probably just copy off of someone else. <laughs> true. So true, Queen. The correct decision, honestly. I mean, what? <laughs> You simpin? Like, everyone does it, let's be real. I have... I've tried... Okay. I've tried to cheat. I've tried to cheat looking at other kids' things before, but I could never see what the shit they're writing. <laughs> so I can't cheat even if I wanted to. <laughs> Anyways, come on. I, I have done the thing, though. But like certain classes, I remember I had like difficult- <laughs> I did this in college actually. I remember I couldn't remember certain stuff for one of my theater classes that was like 
really books, like a, a lot of history stuff. Like remembering certain years and like certain like phrases. So I actually wrote, uh, so I grabbed a water bottle. <laughs> Here's a good way to cheat. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say this. A lot of people here are still in school. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but like, I, I got my water bottle. I took off, you know, like the little arrowhead thing, the little paper, you know, that that's around the water. Uh, I took that off. I wrote like the questions that I knew I was gonna have issues with, and then I, and then I like glued it back on to the water. So you can only see it if you're looking down, like the water. Like if you're looking down, straight down into it. And when I wasn't looking at my water, I would like put it down on the ground so my teacher wouldn't look and see it. And so I would just be like, oh, I just need some water. Let me just get some water. Oh, okay, it's the proscenium. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> I never cheated because I didn't trust the people around me to be worth cheating off of all. Well, what about like cheating by writing the answers in advance? Because I have definitely done that because my memory is shit and the school system just expects you to memorize shit and not actually learn anything. So, blame the school system. <laughs> Elio is a bad influence. I never wrote answers in advance. Okay, but I would have gotten in really big trouble if I had bad grades, so I was desperate. It's a matter of pride. Well, I didn't want my mom to hit me with the belt, so... My mom never did that. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, my mom would just yell at me. <laughs> and, like, ground me and not let me play my PS2. <laughs> but my PS2 is my life. I gotta, I gotta play... Kingdom Hearts. I'm sure if you get some food in your stomach, you'll feel much better anyways. You found it hard to argue with that. I'm well, rather hungry. To me with Natina to the cafeteria. Yeah, have I even eaten yet? You enjoy lunch together with her once again rambling to you about everything she knows and more. Truthfully, it's a bit hard to keep up with at times. What's this? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Let me show this. Fine, I would never be a simp. <laughs> At your service, my queen. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's just. That's just what I would expect from you, Barn. She really is your type. She really- He even DM'd me. He even DM'd me the sprite of her. Saying, when she... <laughs> God. Alright, let me move this. God. <laughs> Truthfully, it's a bit hard to keep up with at times. But it makes her happy, and you don't have much to say anyways. You part ways after lunch, and continue on to your next class. Class goes as expected. And as soon as the school day- and soon the school day will be over. You're still unsure what to do with the cigarettes. Ooh, excuse me. When... Elio, you ran into the headmistress in the hallway. How have you been enjoying school life? I'm doing good. I haven't got my head dunked in a fountain yet, so that, that that's a plus. It's everything you expected it to be. I'd be getting Theo in trouble. Elio? You preface what you're about to do by saying these aren't yours. You just found them. You fumble about in your bag until you pull out. Oh my! These are. I see. I have a tight bun bun. I think we're good enough friends for you to know that about me. Yeah, yeah, we're very good friends. <laughs> yeah, 
ask her what you should do with them. Oh, no worries. She says as she takes the cigarette box from your hands. I know the deal behind these already. Uh-oh. Thank you for showing me. I will handle this accordingly. Before you can say anything, the headmistress rushes off with the box. Feel a pit of regret begin to settle itself deep into your stomach, but it's too late to do anything about it now. Continue on to your next class and hope that everything will be okay. Hope it will be okay. It's been a few days since then. You'd nearly forgotten the whole dilemma until you run into... Oh, is this the same? Theo. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Yeah, school life is wonderful! No, no rule breakers or smokers around here. Uh, just me doing meth cocaine in the back, but like, don't worry, I'm just making a living. You decide to not show the headmistress the cigarettes. Instead, you tell her that school life has been treating you well and that you're happy to be here. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that! I was so worried. And everything is alright, right? I know students can be quite the gossip at, at times. You think back to Natina mistakenly bringing up the dead student. And the arguments you ha seem to have with Theo about it. You decide that your knowledge of the situation is best left unknown to her. You tell her that everything is alright. The school is lovely and everyone talks highly of the institution. Oh, wonderful. I'd love to hear that. Well, I won't hold you up any longer. You need to get to class, correct? I haven't gotten my head dunked in the fountain yet. Reminds me when I started high school and my sister, who was a junior in the same school, told me that she asked her friends to throw me in the trash can the second they saw me. <laughs> Luckily, they'd never seen me before, so that didn't happen. Oh my god. Your sister's based. <laughs> I hope you continue to enjoy your time here. If you have any issues, you know who to call. Then mistress continued down the hallway, leaving you alone with your thoughts once more. Man, I hate, I hate like, you know, all the cartoons and like shows and stuff that show like bullying. Cause you get like lovingly stuffed into a locker. I did not get lovingly stuffed into a locker when I was in middle school. Where, where's, where's the himbos stuffing me into the locker, breathing warmly onto my face as he slams me against the door? Where? Why didn't I get that? Why did I just get people being mean to me? Holy shit, a starry bunny boy. Oh, no, 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 no. It's like a skill issue, honestly. Simply should have been bullied more. Oh, fuck up. You continued on towards your next class, hoping to keep the box secrets until you see Theo again. Before you knew it, the day was nearing its end. You hadn't seen Theo the whole rest of the day. But maybe you can catch him tomorrow. Call out for your little froggy buddy. Froggy! How are you doing, baby? I got you some meats. Keeping him in your dorm all day is less than ideal, but he doesn't want to go anywhere else. So, you know, do I have any water? I need to keep you nice and hydrated. You're hoping that eventually you can bring him some stuff to play around with while you're in class. But for now, we'll have to settle for taking naps and looking out the window. What are you doing? No. You tend to give the frogs some dried crickets that they were selling in snack packets at the school. What store sells dried crickets? What? Despite your attempts to feed them, the frog seems less than interested. You leave the crickets on the desk for him anyways. Maybe you'll touch it eventually. But for now, you need to get the bed. You have class tomorrow. Been like me who swung on people with a 10 pound musical instrument in elementary school. <laughs> the 
next morning, you made sure to get ready extra fast. Yeah, I remember when I got bullied in elementary school. I kicked the guy in his nuts. Frog <laughs> spotted. You ain't sure when Theo normally leaves her class, but this is part. <coughs> It's probably your best bet if you wanted to see him again. We sat by the fountain and waited, hoping that eventually you'd run into... Theo! Before he can get very far, you run up to him and grab him tightly by the shoulder. Whoa, hey, hey, watch it! Oh, it's you. Can I help you with something? You finally remove the cigarette box from your book bag and show it to Theo. Whoa, shit, dude. Watch where you're waving that thing. Theo hurriedly grabs the pack from your hands and shoves it into his pockets. He looks around nervously as if to make sure nobody saw what just transpired. After a few moments, he takes a deep breath. Then he turns to you. These are mine? You explain to Theo that you figured he dropped them when you bumped into each other yesterday. So, you kept these. Didn't even run me out or nothing. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I totally did, but like that, that's in a parallel universe. You told Theo you wanted to return them to him. You're nice. That's actually really cool of you. Shit, you're gonna make me feel bad for getting all mad in front of you the other day. Hey, follow me for a second. This image of the quarter is so good. I, <laughs> yep, Barn made it. <laughs> Here. I would never be a simp at your service, my queen. <laughs> Barn is simping for her. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Barn is so base. By the way, Barn, uh, our cake kitten is the, the dove. So. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, let's. Let's get the bad. <laughs> what are you, goody two shoes? I mean, I did just beat. Hogamere, so, I mean... <laughs> Come on, it won't be long. You told Theo you really ought to get to class. You're still new, after all. You've yet to establish a good reputation for yourself with your teachers. <laughs> fair enough. Meet me at the library after classes are done, then. Oh my god, what are we gonna do in the library? Are we gonna read... <laughs> I couldn't think of a... <laughs> I couldn't think of... <laughs> No. <laughs> I want to talk to you about some stuff. <laughs> okay. You're, you're not gonna push me against the, the bookcase and hit me over the head with a desk, right? You continue about your day as normal, but you didn't forget about what Theo said. Yeah, you're not like Natina. You wouldn't do that. He wanted to meet you by the library. So, when all your classes were finished, you made sure to wait for him there. The library was so quiet as you'd expect any library to be, but the lighting and atmosphere of it made it feel much more calm than any regular library. Would Theo be here like you said? You decided you would sit and wait for him for a while, but it's very possible he could have forgotten over the course of the day. You took a seat near the front of the library, so he would see when you stepped in. You idly scrolled your phone while waiting for him, and before you knew it, Hey, there you are. I was worried you might have forgotten. You told Theo you were just thinking the same thing about him. Come on. He said in a low voice, it was unclear if he was trying to be polite in the library, or if he had any other reasons he didn't want people to hear him. I'll show you the best spot in here. Theo leads you through the library. Oh god, is there like a smoking spot? No one seems to pay attention to you as you do so. Not too preoccupied looking for books, doing homework, or studying for tests. I'm the one sleeping in the corner over there. Theo leads you on and on, far into the library. You didn't know I went this far back. And then he stops. He starts looking around, side to side. He's scanning the area. Oh, don't you make me smoke cigarettes. I swear I would never smoke. Standing at a window in the back. 
considering if the library feels a little more dusty, there's not as many books back here. In fact, there's some little books that many have been laid on their side instead of standing upright on the shelf. The space between the window and the bookshelf is slim. I don't think you'd be able to stretch your arms out all the way if you tried. Alright, coast is clear. Theo pushes the window open and rests his elbow on the window frame. Pulls out a cigarette from the pack he returned to him earlier and begins to smoke. Oh fuck, manners. <laughs> you want one? Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> you politely decline his offer. Works for me. These things don't come cheap after all, yeah. If you didn't if you didn't smoke cigarettes, I think I think I remember reading a thing when my mom smoked. My mom my mom smoked a lot of cigarettes and there was like if you don't smoke if you spent the money that you used to buy like cigarettes if you smoke like what was it once a month or whatever or maybe it was once a week you could afford to be able to go on a trip to hawaii <laughs> i'm gonna be a prude i don't like smoking uh, is this all you wanted me to meet you for well, uh, that's a less than charitable way to put it. I mean, kind of figured you might smoke with me. I'm sorry. I don't smoke. I don't smoke. Now that you're not, I guess we're just chilling here. Thanks for returning the cigs, by the way. Yeah, no problem. Seriously, I have no idea how much of a lifesaver you're being. But, uh, you can leave if you want to. Eh, yeah, I... I'll get, I'll get some secondhand smoke. What doesn't kill me makes me stronger. Hmm? Sure, say then. You can just chill out. Conversation kind of halted after that. He continued to smoke, but the two of you began to hear closer footsteps. He quickly put out the cigarette. He thanked you once again for returning the cigarettes to him and then left on his way. Although he shared a nice... Moment together, got- ah, damn it. Wanna have to smoke with him, huh? Let me see. Do you want me to leave? Oh, so close. Oh! Hmm? Why'd you ask? Oh, I need- I do I need to be like a little- a little, a little feisty? <laughs> a little mysterious? Get him- get him to want me? You ask Theo if he'd rather you leave. You don't wanna bother him. What? You ain't bothering me. What are you talking about? I invited you, doofus. Oh, he's kind of cute. Things are silent for a few moments after that. What doesn't kill me makes me stronger. You become stronger from... No, I'm not reading that twy. And then... Uh, thanks for... Oh, fuck, that's... Sorry, that's stupid. Forget it. You ask Theo to continue his thought. Yeah, you thought... You thought... You thought you could Thundercross split attack me, huh? Gotta give me a compliment now, Twy. I'm so glad I was able to say I heard you had... <laughs> I was just gonna say thanks for asking. Oh? It's nothing, see? I told you it was stupid. It's just I don't know. Yeah, make make with the giving me a compliment, why? It's the rules. If I catch you before I fall for it, you have to give me a compliment. Give me a compliment. People don't often ask me what I think. So I think it's cool that you checked in with me first. I appreciate it, you know? It's refreshing. Uh, tell Theo that's silly. How though? Did I tell you how cute you are? How good of a streamer you are? It's just that you're generally great. <laughs> Too many options, so little time. 
Well, thank you, Toy. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> People don't ask him what he thinks a lot. Maybe you should make his thoughts more known anyways. Oh, hi there, Adamello. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? Doesn't need to be asked to share his thoughts. <laughs> yeah, what's this game about? So we're going to a school uh, with these students that we can capture their hearts. And someone got murdered, apparently. <laughs> so that's fun. Maybe I will. You know what I think then? I think you're pretty cool, pretty boy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> pretty boy. Oh, uh, that was just... Sorry, I tend to throw nicknames around a lot with my friends. <laughs> But I just met you. That wasn't called for. You tell Theo, you don't mind. In any case, you're flattered if you use you as a friend. <laughs> Soon. Oh. <laughs> yup, Moe. It's going good. Just got to chat to my love. Also, yay, death game. <laughs> nice. I'm, I'm glad you had fun. Despite reassuring him, that blush doesn't leave his face the entire time you're in the library together. Jackpot! <laughs> Got Theodore's heart! Yay! Alright, let's see... Now, aren't you scared of getting caught? Theo shrugs. Uh, yeah. I never get caught over here. No one ever comes back here. It's like my own special hiding spot. I guess yours now, too. Oh. I don't know what you want to do here, though, since you apparently don't smoke. Unless you have some other secrets you're hiding. Uh, I got a few. Uh, wh which body do you want to talk about? <laughs> I'm dark vampire royalty and I rule the night. <laughs> Imagine being soon. Could be me. Theo laughs at your statement. Oh, really? <laughs> I hear you out during the day then, huh, smart guy? <laughs> You tell Theo you wear a lot of sunblocks, so you don't burn into ash. I just sparkle in the sun, that's all. He laughs again. Pretty funny, Elio. <laughs> Thanks again for the six and stuff. I owe you one. Alright, there we go. Let's see. I'm an open book. <laughs> nice library joke. Make jokes like that all the time? No, only Twy does. Only when you're feeling funny. Mm-hmm. I'll be on the lookout for any more puns of yours. Alright. Let's see. Okay, I already did those. Um, do you always smoke here? Are you going after twilight like that? Yeah, I... I... I never... Do not... Pull my punches, I swing. <laughs> it's a good spot, isn't it? No one ever comes back here. As long as I keep the smoke out the window, it doesn't set off any alarms or nothing. Nice place to come when I need a break. I've been caught smoking lots of places, but not here. You're not gonna tell me. You're not gonna tell on me, right? <laughs> I'm totally gonna tell everyone, oh my god. <laughs> Don't pull your punches, do you push them? <laughs> I'm back, welcome back! Totally gonna tell everyone. <laughs> Very funny. I would kill you if you did. Okay! You reassure Theo that was merely a joke. Yeah, yeah. Thought so. <laughs> it's gonna kill me, huh? Well, hey, I guess you got me there. Didn't realize you were so slick. Tell Theo you're honored that he trusts you. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Don't let it get to your head, pretty boy. Okay, yeah. Same dialogue. Think? You get it everything? Except for this, yeah. I had to look at the new Mortal Kombat game. Wait, there's a new Mortal Kombat game? No, every single thing about new fighting games that I won't have a chance to play. <laughs> Me with every RPG game. Good choice. Come on, my dorm isn't far. <gasps> Going to his dorm? 
Theo leads you to his dorm. Few students who pass seem to look at you quizzically. As if wondering why you're heading back towards the dorms when class is starting soon. Wait, isn't this against the rules though? Still, no one was stopping you. Eventually, you made it to Theo's dorm room. He unlocked the door and gestured you inside. Oh, hey, he's got the triad symbol. And he's got the school S. Well, Theo's dorm certainly was something. You're like 90% sure he isn't allowed to do this. <laughs> There's room advisors to check up on this kind of stuff, right? Yeah, anarchy. I, I know it's the anarchy symbol, but... <laughs> It, it's just a little inside joke with myself. Whenever I see the anarchy symbol, I'm just like, oh yeah, that's that's just try edges mark. Because try edges mark is like an A, kind of. <laughs> the cool S. Look up Summer Game Fest. They showed a bunch of new games. Hmm. Yeah, I only heard about the Persona stuff. How old were these markings? Are you a cool kid, Elio? I don't know if I could do the cool S. I don't know. What's that look for? I think you like. Brown, brown. It just. Yeah, that, that's easy. What's that look for? Room is cool. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> Thanks! Wait, hold on. Let me go with. Is this allowed first? Is this allowed? Because he'll probably get angry at me. <laughs> Who cares? Like, I'm the one paying for it. If I'm staying here, shouldn't I personalize it the way I want? I want to tell pa Theo that painting the walls might be an extreme way to accomplish that, but opt not to. Do you know how to do the S? Everyone knows that if you are a cool kid, you know how to do the S. <laughs> and I have to say the anarchy symbol when I say it. <laughs> An inside joke with myself. Is that not just an intrusive thought? I'm not cool then. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if I know how to do the cool as. Anyways. I think you start with the lines here. And then you do those lines. And then that. Maybe. I might be wrong. Theo moves to sit over on his bed. As he does so, he takes out a cigarette. Yeah, you do the six the six lines, yeah. Then the diagonals. Oh duh, my stupid manners. Do you want one? I'm gonna be approved. You shouldn't be smoking. A lot of people shouldn't be doing a lot of things. What's your point? <laughs> you apologize. Didn't mean to offend him. It's fine. Heard it all before. He asked Theo what would happen to him if people were to find out he had these. Eh, it's happened before. I'm not just a slap on the wrist, but... Then the diagonals. Uh, the points, then the last diagonal. Mmm. Okay, so I kinda got it. But I was kinda wrong. <laughs> I think they caught me a few too many times now. I'll be honest, they've been letting me off easy. They said if I get caught another time, they're gonna call home. Never understood kids that smoke. Yeah, maybe I'm just uncool. <laughs> but again, I am a square that doesn't drink, smoke, or do anything fun. Uh, I get you, Linux. I only drink alcohol like once in a blue moon. I've never been interested in drugs or anything. I don't want to smoke because like... My health condition, my uh, my growth hormone deficiency is because my mom smoked when she was pregnant with me. <laughs> I, I can't wait kids smoke either. Yeah, let's all be cube, my fellow squares. Yeah, I, I'll drink alcohol on occasion, but, <laughs> but I, I try not to smoke, I try not to drink too much, you know? I don't like drunkenness. Mad at your mom for that, among other reasons. <laughs> Square gang, yeah. <laughs> My mom's not the best person. 
I never got in smoking, honestly. Yeah, it's like to look cool, but it's like you're destroying your lungs. Like my mom smoked a lot and I guess it was like it kind of gave you like a little high, I guess. Thea looked to the ground silently for a few moments. Water tornado, oi. Here's clearly thinking of what a call home would entail. And judging from the expression that loomed over his face, it definitely wouldn't be something good. Tsunami and tornado bishop twice. <laughs> That's why I'm glad you got this shit back in my hands without anyone knowing. Seriously, you saved me a lot of headache. I feel really bad, actually. I kinda figured you were gonna be, well, someone bitchy. It seemed like you got along well with Natina. You would be surprised. But hey, I guess I judged wrong. Yeah, I, I mold my personality among the people that I talk to. Because I'm afraid of being hated. <laughs> Actually, not that bad. I mean, I don't know how many people wouldn't just turn this stuff in or hell, even just throw it out. Say, uh, <laughs> Elio X Burger, best ship, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna leave Barn to go date Burger. Why didn't you? Burger is so delicious. Daisuki Suki Hamburger. Me too, I like Hamburger. What kind of burger, though? Uh, a bacon burger. A baconator. I understand. <laughs> if you could have a really good burger, you, you know what must be done. <laughs> Did you eat? I did. I had I had a bit of this chicken burger near me, but I didn't like how it tasted, so I, I didn't eat all of it. I ate like half of it. I face when I use personality A with friend group C. <laughs> I didn't want to cause trouble. Yeah, I totally get that. <laughs> Anyways. It was nice to share a chill moment together like this. I suppose if you want to still catch your first class or arrive super early to your second class, you should probably leave now. But hey, this is nice. Thanks again. I'll see you around. You and Theo exit from his dorm room and he starts off to class. Although he did share a nice moment together. Oh, okay. I would have thought I would have captured his heart from now. Okay, let's see. Your room is cool. <laughs> Thanks. I try. Wait, did I go with? Did I go with that? Hold on. Yeah, I I didn't go with that. I I went with it, and then I was like, no, let's go. With, is this allowed? I like it better this way, you know. So I'm glad you agree. I I love triage. I love the letter S. It's in my dead name. Anyways. Theo moves to sit over on his bed. As he does so, he takes out a cigarette. Oh, dumb, I s Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, I'm okay. Alright, good, because these packs cost me too much to want to share. The new streamer named- Oh, that's true! Okay. Starry Bunny Boy. Yeah, S for Starry Bunny Boy. Uh, it happened before. Like just a slap on the wrist, but I think they've caught me a few. Yeah, skip board. Okay, let me load this one. I, I don't know why I loaded it. <laughs> me being dumb. Um, just didn't feel right. Yeah, I totally get that. Anyways, nice to share. Okay. Feel a bit awkward at the end of it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah, they belong to you. Oh? That's... Yeah, they do belong to me, huh? But somebody understands that concept. Yes, Theo, what he means by that. Oh, <laughs> sorry. It's nothing. Just... I don't know. 
I face when Elio is a gluing based VTuber. Tari Bunny Boy. No! Can you say that feels nice? Ooh, we got some new dialogue. Let's go. Do you feel like you owe people things? Mm, nah. I mean, do you? It's up to you that sometimes you do. Before you came here, you lived with your dad. Yeah, my dad was a bit, uh, too attached to me. Helicopter parent much? And you were chosen to come to the school? Well, you felt you owe it to him to do well. I am not allowed to laugh too much as it will cause me pain. <laughs> Bruh. He was excited for you. It's not everybody that gets to come here after all. But damn, making Elio laugh is a good pastime. <laughs> Well, if making me laugh is in a way kind of making your soul laugh, then that's good. It's only natural to feel indebted to him in some way. Yeah, I get that. Though your reasoning sounds sweet. I guess if there's any motivation to try doing well here, it's to keep seeing my friends here. Certainly not for anyone back at home. <laughs> they don't even want me growing my hair out. Can you believe that? What? It's my damn hair, ain't it? What do you- what do they care? Yeah, grow your hair out, bro! Do what you wanna do! I can give you some nice styling tips! Put, like, some streaks in your hair... Look really good! He has the OA, he doesn't just grow it out now that he's at school. <laughs> I wish. But nah, I can't do that. They video call all the time. Constantly ask for pictures. Not to mention, we still haven't taken school pictures this year. Oh. Oh, that's rough, buddy. Really don't need to hear mom bitch and moan about my hair all the time. Can't bitch and moan about this, though. I never see this shit. I guess you're part to thank for that, right? You had told on me. I would have never heard the end of it. So, uh, thanks for not doing that, pretty boy. Yeah. We got the dialogue. His nicknames like that for my friends. Yes. Okay. So I captured his heart here too. Let's go. Nice. Okay. What's the other dialogue? Do you normally not have your own things? No, no, I do. It's nothing, really. Forget I said it. <laughs> Anyways. It was nice to share a chill moment together like this. I suppose if you want to still catch your first class or arrive super early to your second class, you should probably leave now. But hey, this is nice. Oh, that was nice. Okay. This the next is Mitzi. Oh, thank you for the hydrate overtaker! And just like that, another day of school is finished. Okay, I might I might end soon. My uh I'm starting to feel a bit dizzy with my medication. So I might lay down in a bit. You like to think you've been doing pretty well so far. Your grades are fine, your teachers all like you. Yeah, I wanna meet Mitzi. I got lasagna, let's go. Lays down a guard for ooh nice. Is it nice and cheesy? I love the cheesy lasagnas. It's finally the weekend! So, how are you gonna spend the time? Oh yeah, if you feel dizzy, take care and rest, Ellie. Oh yeah. Take care of the bun, I say, as I will not take care of myself. <laughs> take care of yourself! You better take care of yourself. Go push yourself. Yeah, I can, I can play this another day. I can keep playing this another day. But I do want to see Mitzi. I want to see them. And, and then I'll end stream there. Well, if you don't take care of yourself, Barn, I won't take care of myself. So, there you go. You want me to take care of myself? Take care of yourself, then. You could call up Natina or Theo, but definitely not both at the same time. Maybe one of them would like to go to the city tomorrow? It might be nice to go walking around with one of them. Please rest and take care of yourself, bud. I will. I will. I will soon. 
give me like a, another 20 minutes or so and I'll be good. But, hmm. Those two are still the only people you really know at school. Your classmates say hi to you as you go to sit in class and you occasionally return a dropped pencil to a fellow student. But you still haven't found many opportunities to really meet people. I need to go to the ho- oh god. Go to the hospital tomorrow, go to the dentist on my next paycheck, so oi. But you're threatening yourself like that, well you better go- You better go get taken care of then, Marn. Yeah, I hope everything goes well with the- with the dentist. Keep me updated. It's especially difficult considering you joined in the middle of the school year. Yeah, I need to go to the dentist too. I need to get braces. I know I need to get braces, but I can't afford it. <laughs> Everyone's got their friend groups planned out already. But it's alright. The weekend is finally here, and you're sure to find your way into someone else's heart in time. As you are heading back to your own dorm to drop your books off, you stop. What's that noise? <laughs> if you don't treat yourself, Elio will try to 100% Final Fantasy 2. Would you do that to poor boy Elio? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's crying. Oh. Yeah, when I said the laughing makes me hurt, I wasn't joking. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Sorry, Barn. You wouldn't dare. I would. You better get some help so you can laugh. You follow the sound of the voice as best you can. The sobbing is muffled, but continuous. Eventually, it leads you to a student. As you reach out to tap her shoulder, she snaps. Didn't you just tell me to leave you the fuck alone? Oh, oh, oh my god. I'm so sorry. I thought you were my brother. Eh? You know what station is his favorite? Radio Disney. Oh wait, station? Summer, summer's a station? Do you mean season? brother make you cry? Oh my god, please, we don't need to talk about my brother. <laughs> really, don't worry about it. It's okay. You, uh, came over here because you heard me crying, right? You tell them that yes, you did. That's sweet. Thank you, uh... I don't actually know your name, do I? Who are you? You tell her your name is Elio. Nice to meet you, Elio. I'm Mitzi. I know almost everyone at this school. I'm surprised I haven't seen you around yet. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm new. Are you into, like, new mysterious types? You explained to Mitzi that you're actually pretty new here. Transferred over not long ago. Oh, you're... The new kid. <laughs> yeah, I should have figured that. Yeah, let's not talk about your brother. Let's talk about you. How are you doing? <laughs> you got the riz, barn, damn. Yes, let's see if there's a problem with that. Oh no. No no no. No problem at all. Anyways, uh sorry for distracting you from uh whatever it is you were doing before. You tell Mitsu you weren't doing much of anything before. Class just ended not too long ago. Elio trying to pull Mitzi with the holler on new kid look. <laughs> I know the way to the doctor. I'll show you, Mitzi. <laughs> yeah. I I I was made to meet you, Mitzi. Or I, I don't remember the line from Evangelion very well. I think I was born to meet you, Mitzi. Any plans for the weekend? Tell her that no, you don't have any plans presently, but I can make some ones for a, a certain purple-haired person. With black tips, yeah. You're thinking of maybe going into the city if any of your friends were up for it, wink wink. Wait. Wanna go into the city? You didn't ask any of your friends yet, did you? Nope, you didn't. Elio. They did it? They made Pokemon Dark Souls? What? 
PAL World Open World Survival Monster Catching Game. Oh my god. I always see these games and I'm always like, everyone like, everyone goes crazy for like these Pokemon games and they're like, this is the new Pokemon game. But I'm like, they always flop. <laughs> No, you didn't. But yeah, it looks cool. The the guy with the machine gun. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. I know this is like totally out of nowhere, but do you want to go to a concert with me this weekend? Yeah, I, I just cleared up my entire schedule. I am down. Hey, you play piano? Yeah, sure, I'll go. How awesome! Pretty sudden question, though. I know. <laughs> it's just because I got these two tickets, right? And they weren't cheap either. But the friend I was supposed to see the show with bailed out on me last night. What is this barn? I just think they're neat. <laughs> you are falling for, for girls at an unprecedented rate, Vine. <laughs> I just think they're neat. <laughs> I'm out here simping as I do. Well, thank you. Thank you for the memes. They're very good. Yummy. Put this one. Put this one right over here. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> As if you're not Bun Bun. <laughs> yeah, I'm liking her. Friend I was. Yeah. She didn't even say why. <laughs> and I can't just go by myself. That'd be like so awkward. The concert is tomorrow, right? I have to say it, you are sims made for each other. <laughs> Thank you, Overtaker. Thank you. <laughs> so I'd be doubly out of money if I didn't go. It's kind of late to find someone to sell these to. I mean, scalpers do that all the time, though. So you're selling this ticket to me? <laughs> Just giving this ticket to me? I mean, yeah. Don't you want it? Elio Streams, aka Elio Friendship Making Simulator Stream. <laughs> I will make everyone become my friend. One bun heart. Yo. Let's make what? Let's make that. <laughs> one bun heart. I love it. I can't imagine it's every day you're offered a concert ticket for free. I don't know. I feel like most people wouldn't pass up that opportunity. Well, they are right. I will make everyone become my friend. How can you do something you've already done? <laughs> Actually, that would be fun to draw. That would. Ooh. You're selling me this ticket? Please take my life savings. <laughs> Here, you want like every one of my belongings, Mitzi? There you go. They're yours. Do you love me now? I heard throwing items at people makes them fall in love with me. A free concert ticket isn't really a common occurrence. It's kind of hard to turn down. Still though, you tell them you'd like to pay it off somehow, eventually. Yes, let's see what kind of concert this is anyway. Oh, right. <laughs> it's a Beatles concert. Wait, the Beatles? Beatles? No way. Have you... Have you never heard of the Beatles before? No, I have heard of the Beatles before. They're bugs. They're only like my all-time favorite girl group. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Selling a kidney to spend time with Mitzi for a few hours. BRB. You may entice a woman by giving her a piece of cheese. BRB. You better not be lying, Barn. <laughs> the Beatles. Let's go. I want to see like a a girl group called the Beatles and they all just dress up in like cockroach suits and stuff. That would be nice. 
I turned that ticket down because epilepsy. Oh yeah, yeah. Concerts with flashing lights. It's rough. Fun. You have to have heard of them. Hey, dude. There goes the moon. Well, it's in the air with rubies. <laughs> None of these songs ring a bell with you. Cockroaches are not beetles, I think. Oh, that's true. I guess that they will all wear beetle suits then. And then like, if someone gives them juice, it's beetle juice. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. You may fascinate a woman by giving her a piece of cheese. I forgot about that. <laughs> kinda has the Kaede Akamatsu fit, and I'll go lie. Yeah, she kinda does. Is that why you like her? <laughs> Fine. You can't say they do. What? Well, that's not gonna do it all. Uh, follow me. We have to go listen to some of their stuff if you're going to their concert with me tomorrow. Mitzi gestures for you to follow her as she runs off towards the direction of the dorm rooms. With the quick change of attitude she had in such a short time, when we approached them, they were crying. And now, suddenly you find yourself their concert guest for tomorrow night. I aren't complaining. It's just incredible how quickly she was able to switch herself around to suddenly be okay. Is she really? Mitsin, you begin to walk together on the pleasant weekend afternoon. There was not a trace of tears left on their face anymore. No one ever would have guessed she was crying. Elio truly is Mitsi's rebound. <laughs> oh God, you know, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool playing the second banana. So, tell me about yourself. If we're going to this concert, I should probably know more about you than just your name. You just came to school not too long ago, right? What was your life like before? Um, blah, 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 blah. Let's see. I didn't do much of anything before I want to talk about. Uh, I live with my dad. You tell Mitsu you lived with your dad before you came here. He's nice, but a little clingy at times. <laughs> yeah. I can relate to that. A little. Both my dad and my mom. Though I guess I understand where the clinginess comes from now. Oh? Well, I saw it. Uh, it's nothing. Elio may start as a rebound, but he will end up being her world with his good looks. Yeah, I mean, I am pretty handsome. Sometimes parents just turn into real worry warts over their kids, I guess. But you like your dad, right? That's good. I'm sure he's a swell guy. <laughs> Let's hope he raised a good kid. <laughs> Mitzi's a nice girl. You follow Mitzi all the way to their dorm room. The closer you two got, the more she rambled a bit to you about how the Beatles are so good and you're totally gonna love them and other things like that. Not at along. It's not like you really had a good response without having heard the music first. Oh, kitty! And then you made it to Mitzi's dorm room. Okay, so Mitzi seems to be really into music and cats, so that that's a plus. I love a girl that loves cats. I love an animal queen. The atmosphere and vibe in here was a lot more pleasant than whatever Theo and his roommate had going on. <laughs> I see Elio is as humble as normal. Yes, <laughs> just another normal day. But his roommate wasn't here, at least not yet. Yeah, cute room. It's just the two of you as Mitzi closed the door behind you. Here we are. I hope it's not too messy in here. I usually tidy up the last day of the weekend. Messy? 
looked like something out of a magazine ad. Oh, uh, let me get my tunes. <gasps> oh my god. Are we gonna, like, listen to music with, like, the earbuds and get, like, close together because you can't, like, go very far apart from the earbuds? That's so romantic. Mitzi moves over to the drawers beneath her bed. She shuffles around a bit before pulling out an old CD player and a few CDs. Mitzi equals Sayori. Natina equals Monica. I don't make the rules, I just follow them. Well, damn. Elio knows the moves. <laughs> Here we go! Was it Tina Yandere? She was like... Mean girl. She better be. <laughs> yeah, do you always listen to music this way? On my CD player? Yeah, I like to when I can. Something about it is a lot more special than just... Listening with earbuds in my phone. I think listening to music out loud is the best way to enjoy it. But, uh, I can't always do that. Especially if my roomie is trying to sleep or study or whatever. That's why we totally gotta take advantage of it, now that we can. Mitsu removes a silver CD from its casing and hands you the case to hold. Theo is not ski. <laughs> oh, nice! On the cover of the case, there's four girls walking on a crosswalk. Ooh, I like the designs. This is their album, Fiery Street. It's one of my faves. Mitsuki starts the... M Mitzi. I keep call Have I been calling her Mitsuki? I meant to call her Mitzi. So it's the first song on their CD player. As it plays, Mitsi makes her way over to you and looks at the cover with you. Yeah, yeah, I know it's based off of the Beatles cover. <laughs> Yo, when they gonna play, we all live in a, a yellow machine. She starts pointing to different girls on the front of the case and explaining each one of them to you. It's <laughs> Yeah, her name's Mitty. She plays the Mitty tunes. This one is Lydia. She's my favorite member. She's a ladybug. You can tell because of the way she is. Oh, really? It's definitely not that one. It's totally this one. The girl behind her is Carnelian. She's some kind of scarab beetle, I think. I know it makes... I, I know it makes it so much better. <laughs> oh, just to note, Carnelian and Lydia are dating. Hey, yo, let's go. Happy Pride. Let's go. I might be a little jealous of Carnelian. <laughs> Then behind her is Hera. She's like, totally strong. Like, really strong. I've seen videos of her lifting people above her head. And then behind her is, okay. I love a strong woman. Uh, Aral, uh, Ar Aral? Okay, I'll be honest. I don't know how to pronounce her name, but she's really cute. And I've seen her interact with fans online and stuff. So, maybe if I'm active enough in their fan community, she might notice me one day too. Ooh. Team B-E-T-L. Just to keep with Ruby naming conventions. <laughs> Holy shit, strong woman. <laughs> Yo, I wanna watch Witch. I've been like craving watching Witch. W-I-T-C-H. I miss that show. Before you have a chance to say anything about any of the girls who just introduced you to you, Mitzi says... Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is one of the best parts of the song. <laughs> Doesn't that sound just scratch that perfect music itch right in your brain? You pay attention to the music for a few moments. Kinda light. You know what I've been craving? A violence. <laughs> Yeah, do you got like one of those like brain scratcher songs? No, but really, I'm waiting for the next G-Witch episode. Oh. <laughs> I need to know how it goes. Yeah, I'm, I'm not caught up on it. <laughs> not the type of sound you're expecting someone with this appearance to be listening to. 
Though, the way the room was decorated did seem to reflect the vibes a bit. Hopefully, the music is only alright. Seasons don't fear the reaper by Blue Oyster Cult. Hey, yo, let's go. It's just there. Can't really understand her hype for it. This is the band she was raving so much about. Best Brain Scratcher song. I'll have to check that out then. I don't know why I like Brain Scratcher songs. So, well, what do you think? It's good, isn't it? Be honest. Okay. okay. <laughs> My throat is really hurting. So, I think I'm gonna end here for the day. Uh, but I'll, I'll make a, a plan in my docket for next week to do some more of this game since I already filled out my schedule for the week. But, yeah. I will definitely play some more here for Sweethearts. Take a rest. Thank you so much for streaming the book. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. I can't get in. I love your games. I hope, I, I hope I can play more of your games on stream. Thank you so much for popping in. And also, um, let me let me get you guys the link to Arcade Kittens itch.io for the games so that you guys can download it and play it for yourselves. Please do check out Arcade Kittens other games. Thank you. You're too sweet. Oh, you're too sweet. <laughs> But yeah, uh, that is gonna be it for the day, everyone. Uh, I will see you guys. Am I streaming tomorrow? Uh, I'm not. I don't think I am. I have work tomorrow, yeah. Well, I will see you guys in two days. So, yeah. I'll see you guys later, okay? Bye bye. Be sure to eat, drink, take your medication, and have a good day. Bye bye. Bye, y'all.